It was December 2018, the very beginning of Trout and Coffee coming to fruition. I had hired my friends Mitch and Hunter to help bring it to life as an ad agency and a production company. And we had just secured an office space that we were going to start renovating in the new year. But in the meantime, we took a trip to Quebec in eastern Canada to produce content for a few clients and have a team retreat. And the day before we left, Hunter and I loaded a Christmas tree up in my old truck before sunrise and took some photos up on top of a mountain in western Massachusetts. That magic holiday feeling was burning bright and we were excited to get up to Eastern Canada and experience winter up there. So after a nice long drive, we arrived at our first cabin near Mount St. Anne's. It was a pretty secluded spot and a very beautiful cabin. And so we spent our first full day doing some planning and shooting some segments for a wine company and a blanket company and a few others. I had spent most of my career shooting all my content alone and it was an interesting change to have help producing it during this time. And one of the first things we wanted to try was backcountry snowmobiling. And so the next day we booked a few hour block with some powerful sleds. were gorgeous and pristine, and they meandered through the countryside endlessly. The terrain reminded me of back home in western Massachusetts, but the mountains were a little bigger and the pines were a little skinnier up here. sections of the trail would go through farmland where there were rolling fields of powder and you could just dip off the trail and float through the clouds. It felt like an absolute dream. It was the most freeing feeling on earth out there. The wind, the power, the openness. It was therapeutic. Somewhere along the trail, we came across the quaint cabin with a jaw-dropping setting. This is one of the most spectacular things I've ever seen in my life. This might be one of the coolest views of that structure. And we couldn't stop talking about multi-day snowmobiling expeditions through the landscape, staying at little cabins and huts along the way. We were starting to feel addicted to snowmobiling. I guess if you know the feeling, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. This view. Yeah, that's why I turned to the side. This is where, like, you can seek refuge. This is so cool. Holy oh set up the stove with some provisions. Wow, that stove is so cool. That table's clean. 
A little oven thing. I would have put a bathroom in, you know. This window, dude, are you kidding me? Look at that table. And on this first day, we had to be back before dark, but we agreed that we needed a longer session the next time. And so we made our way back to base camp to prepare for an evening in the old city. in old Quebec just as the world was turning blue. And to see this classic festive city with all the lights and the glowing windows, it was one of the most beautiful holiday experiences I've ever had. pastries and espresso shots and a good dinner. And we turned in early for another big day of snowmobiling, knowing we'd spend more time in the old city before the trip was over. I hear the fuel pump going. And it started. <laughs> <laughs> So this time we had the sleds for a full day and well into darkness, and we covered a lot more ground. And we flew through the countryside past old farms and small neighborhoods in the golden light. And once again, the freedom was intoxicating. This is insane. 
into the blue night as the moon rose above the fields. We hardly ever saw anyone else out there on the trails. It was like we had our own little world. And we'd stop at gas stations where they didn't speak English and get French Canadian candy bars and other little snacks to keep us going. final stretch back home, there was a beautiful pastel sunset, and we came across one of the biggest powder fields yet, just before total darkness set in. We gotta rip through the middle of this. We gotta go through the middle of that. Everyone does. Woo! Hit it! That was my favorite thing yet. That was groovy. That, that was, was unreal. Uh, shall we again? Let's do it. Had it, kid! It's hard to describe what it's like to pin the throttle and to fly through powder. The front end lifts up and the track digs down and you slowly rock back and forth. And it really feels like you're floating. For our last few days, we stayed at one more cabin a little closer to the old city and had a few beautiful mornings there. did a lot of shooting and brainstorming around the new cabin, had some intense Monopoly games, and planned our last venture into the old city.
And once again, we arrived right after the sun went down. And so we split up and ran around the streets, capturing all the little details. So we stood in the street and listened to Christmas carols and all looked at each other, bummed that we had to go home the next morning, but grateful we had experienced the magic of winter in Quebec. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you could feel the feeling of freedom that we felt when we were out there. Make sure to give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And I just wanted to let you know that my new winter coffee blends are now available. I've got uh, Cozy Up and Hunker Down. Cozy Up is a light roast, Hunker Down is a dark roast. They've got subtle flavor, but they're not sweet. I don't enjoy flavored coffee very much at all, and I drink these every day, and they are truly delicious. They're fair trade, they're organic, they are air roasted, which not many companies do at all um, and it just gives you the cleanest most pure coffee experience you could ask for the link to buy the coffees is in the video description along with the link to my merchandise and my patreon and uh, if you're looking to support the channel those are the three best ways to do it you guys are the reason that I'm able to make these videos full-time so your support means everything you guys are an incredible community and I'm truly grateful um, Got a really cool Christmas story coming next Sunday, and uh, I can't wait to show you. Talk soon. Mm -hmm.